Now, I want to be able to collect some potions. I made the sprites for the potions. I want to be able to get them and grab out a potion. A bit small, so I'll make it a bit bigger, smaller. There you go, something that my wizard could be able to collect. Now, this can't be interacted with because it doesn't yet have a collider, so I'll add one. In this case, the circle collider will work well. I'll edit it, just get it a little bit closer. Doesn't need to be super, super precise. But a bit better for this. There you go, that'll be fine for this object. And I actually want something to trigger when I walk into this, it not to be a solid object, so I'm gonna hit is trigger. Have a few, oh sorry, I'll also get rid of the name and called potion. I'm gonna have a few different um, potions, and every time I walk into them, they're going to delete the previous one. So I'll need something to keep track of the score, but I'll do that in just a moment. Firstly, I'll give this thing here a script, so I'll go into my scripts, create one, and this one's gonna be called Click Potion. And as we see here is the basic uh, HTML setup. Now I actually don't need any of this. All I need my potion to do is to check if my player's walked into it, then I want it to um, or let me know I've got a potion and delete itself. So if, sorry, I'm gonna make a void on trigger enter 2D, because we're working in 2D. Collider, and we'll call this thing the thing that walked into me. If an I, if the thing that walked into me has the name. Player, because remember we renamed that object. Then I just want to debug dot log. You got the potion, and after that, I don't want to be able to continuously collect this potion, so I want to destroy the game object that this script is attached to, because this script is going to go on the potion. We'll just click on the potion. Just like before, we're gonna give this one the collect potion script and click play. I should see now down in the console here, when I walk into it, it deletes and it says you got the potion. So that works great. Let's get a few more. So every single one is going to be saying you got the potion down here and collecting, uh, and deleting itself. The only issue is that I don't know how many potions I've got. So we need an object. Create an empty object, in fact. And this is gonna be our game manager. It's gonna keep track of all of the niggly little things for us, and we're gonna put it right at the very top, just so that we can uh, see it. In fact, if we really wanted to, we could give it a little icon so that we could see it here, but we really don't need to. This is only for in testing purposes, so I'll just select none. All right, so what we want our game manager to do is it's gonna keep track of how many potions we have. It's gonna keep track of later on how much life we have. It's gonna keep track of a bunch of other things. So we're gonna make one master script uh, to do all that for us. That script's gonna be called creates the game manager. It may show up with a different icon like this. We'll give this thing the game manager script. Now let's write it. So the game manager needs to keep track of a bunch of different things for us. And we wanna make this as simple as possible. So we'll make a public integer called the potion 
potions collected when the game starts. Oh, sorry. By default, potion collect collected will equal zero. Potions collected will equal zero. And we want to make two voids. We don't actually want to do anything in this script. We want other scripts to reference this one and make it do stuff. So we'll make a public void called collect potion. All this void is going to do is it's going to take our potions collected value and increase it. Likewise, we'll make another one. Public void use potion. Or if we want to be able to do that in our game for any reason. And our potions collected value is going to subtract. Later on, we are also going to add lives. And we're going to use a very similar uh, method to this. But notice how these will never happen. We actually need our collection, collect potion script, to reference this game manager object and tell them to happen. So at the very top, we need a public game manager. And we'll call it GM for game manager. So this is a public reference to this script. And all we want is just before we get deleted we want to reference the game manager and we want to call this function here called collect potion so i'm going to copy and paste it so I'm absolutely sure there's no spelling mistakes and i'll save that and go back to unity so our game manager has the amount of potions we've collected zero and each potion now wants to know who is this game manager thing we'll, we'll drag it right in this guy here, this object here, is holding the game manager script. Any subsequent potions that we copy and paste will already have that referenced. But there's actually no way of us as a player seeing that number, um, only as a developer. So we'll quickly have a look. We should see this potions collected number here on the side increase to one, two, three, and four. But we want to see that as a player. So what we need is a canvas. Once again, just like the platforms, I'm going to create an empty object and call this collectibles and put all of my potions in there so that they are not all over the place. Then I'm going to create a UI canvas. This is going to be my um, general canvas the canvas that's always going to be on the screen my general canvas is going to have one piece of text at at the moment this is just going to be my score text it's just going to say potions at the moment and let's have a look at what that looks like oh not very good looking so our score text will increase its size increase the size of the font or we'll anchor it to the top corner of the screen and we'll just move it over there in fact I might decrease that just a little bit so let's actually reference this and change the text so now that we've made the potions text we just want that to be output to the screen so I want to constantly be updating a text object that's uh, keeping track of this for me, or well, outputting it for me. So I want to be using Unity Engine dot UI. So I have access to the UI functions, and I want to in my update void just update a text value. But we don't actually have a reference to this text object, so I just need to say public text, and I'll call this one potions output, and then in here I'll write potions output dot text equals the word potions 
plus oh, potions. Collected the number that is the amount of potions we've collected. So back in Unity, all we need to do is tell the game manager what text object we're actually outputting the potion number to. It's going to be this score text. So I'll go ahead and click play. Now it says potions zero. Potions one, two, three, four. And as a player, now I know I don't need to be a developer to know how many potions I have. So the next one will be using a projectile, shooting some uh, magical missiles out of my character. So stay tuned for that. 